What's up everyone, my name is Nigark. Welcome back to Dungeon Warfare Alpha 14. Today I'm going to be looking at Labyrinth. Yes. So this actually is pretty interesting. It, it's the first level in a while to have only one entrance. I think that's really cool. Also, you cannot, it, like it looks like you should be able to build barricades, right? So like if I wanted to barricade off here for them to go up there, I can't because there's a boulder blocking it, right? So I would have to do that to be able to build a barricade here. So my strategy, even though I, I, I've only done this once and I built everything up here, I think you could actually build everything in here and it'll still be totally fine without having to uh, spend the money on a barricade and get rid of this boulder. So I think this area would actually be pretty much prime real estate for it, but I'm going to do it up here because that's the way that I've done and that's the way that worked. And can you guess what I'm going to do? Because I've shown it off a couple of times now. And we're going to get the gold thingy. Yeah, soul harvester, upgrade, upgrade. And there we go. Now we're just going to go on times four. So, what do I think of this synergy with the demon portal and the slime trap in a narrow area? It's pretty strong. It is pretty strong. This is a level that has, I believe, seven waves? I think it's seven waves. If it isn't seven, then it's eight waves. But yeah, using this uh, synergy has been pretty... pretty insane. Okay, yeah, then it's eight waves. I... pretty much since I've started using it, I haven't lost any levels. And I've gone back, and just to get some levels, I've done, like, almost four rune runs with this setup. The only problem is this takes four different types of trap. Types of trap. One, two, three, four. Yeah. So you can't do the three traps or the... Uh, it's really hard to do with the mastery rune as well. Because that takes away half of your levels, so to get this you need slimes to be level 30. And still on occasion things will get by, so one life is always pretty difficult. But yeah, this is... This is pretty strong. I have to give it that. And I can just play through these levels on times 4 and just kinda sit back. I think at this point, my setup will actually kill everything. And I just upgrade for fun. But I'm not having to use boulders, I'm not having to use more than a fifth of the map here. Okay, let's upgrade some of this. Double activation. Yeah, it's, it's just, I don't have to do anything now. I just, I sit back and the game wins for me. Also, I've still never used the hex trap just because I haven't had a need to, so let's do that. Yeah, you're a frog. Giant frog. It's kind of cute. Yeah, why not? Its activation is... Mm, not long at all. The only annoying thing is that they jump around randomly, so it might take a while for my traps to clean them up. Yeah, they kind of jump in diagonal, so my traps aren't totally getting to them. That's a neat little trap. I can imagine turning stuff like knights and veteran warriors into frogs would be pretty sweet. And it's the only trap so far that has a... It's on a wall and it only has a one tile range, so that's pretty cute. Oh, and these don't count as enemies. So if you only have frogs left, the game ends. But there you go. That is Labyrinth. And the next level, the mountain, is the last level of Alpha 13. Hopefully I'll be able to figure that one out. But I hope this was helpful for you. My name is Nigark, and thank you for watching.